Okay, so 1997 F-150, a uh, common problem. Um, what I had was driving down the road, the uh, windshield wipers in a, in a rainstorm, the wipers quit working on me. Uh, once I got home, not only were the wipers not working, but I found the dome light wasn't working and the normal door chime wasn't working the way it normally does. Um, so obviously, uh, first thing I checked is the fuse for the wipers and the washer motor and all that. Um, then I got to looking around on the internet and realized uh, that this is a common problem and uh, some other people have, have, have run across it. Uh, uh, one guy uh, was posting that he pulled this uh, five amp fuse right here Okay, so 1997 Ford F-150 uh, encountered what turns out to be a fairly common problem with this model. Um, was driving home in a rainstorm and the uh, wipers quit working on me. I uh, wouldn't work at any speed. The washer didn't work. Uh, got home, uh, was pretty close to home, got home and uh, then found out that also the dome light wasn't working and the door chime wasn't working when you open the door um, the way it normally works. So, you know, obviously the first thing I did was check the fuse here for the washer or uh, wiper motor and uh, it looked fine. Everything was good with it. Plugged it back in. Didn't do any good. Um, so got to looking on the internet and not only did I see that this was a common problem, but uh, uh, saw some things tying in. Uh, one guy um, wrote a post that uh, he, he didn't understand why it worked that way, but he did the same thing, tried that, that fuse, uh, no effect. Uh, so out of frustration, he just started pulling fuses and plugging them back in. And when he got to this 5 amp fuse right here, uh, the fourth one down on that second row, uh, he pulled that out and put it back in and all of a sudden his wipers and dome light and door chime all came on at the same time. Um, so this one right here goes to the GEM, or I think it's a general electronic module, uh, and all those things do tie into it. Uh, but anyway, this guy just pulled the fuse out and stuck it back in, and all of a sudden this stuff started working again. So I'm figuring, what the heck? I went and did the same thing, pulled that same fuse out, uh, kind of looked at it and wiped it off a little bit, stuck it back in, and everything comes back on. Uh, so looked around on the internet and stuff and uh, found that that uh, what's happening here is there's a water intrusion issue and uh, the back of your fuse block here gets wet and uh, causes things to short out and causes problems so uh, it turns out there's a pretty easy fix for that and, and it's a common problem that causes it and uh, I'll show you that uh, down on my floorboard uh, at the same time, I did notice a little bit of a, a drip line of water down here. Um, and then, of course, you know, after I figured all this out and stuck my hand up behind the fuse block here and started feeling around, I did feel uh, some, some moisture up in there. Uh, so let me show you what we had to uh, fix in order to, to solve that problem. All right, so when you come up here to the uh, front left of the, of the truck, You've got to take this cowling off here, this plastic cowling, which means you've got to take the uh, wiper arm off on the driver's side. And once you get that out of the way, you come up here and there is a body seam that runs right along here. And that's where we get our famous leak. The seal there deteriorates from that. Uh, so you can probably see I gooped a bunch of clear silicone up in there But my problem it looked like was right in this area where I'm pointing right there's kind of a curve in that seam and uh, Right there. There were some loose pieces of ceiling all dried out and nasty and uh, There was some exposed bare metal with rust showing so I'm pretty sure that's where the leak was coming from um, but I basically sealed all this stuff up 
uh, cleaned it off real carefully, did a lot of wire brushing and stuff, uh, got the old sealing off as best I could, and sealed all that up. So that should solve the problem with water getting in there uh, under the dash. So fairly simple fix and uh, took took me a little bit to figure it out, but there it is. I hope that helps somebody.